Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm, I'm gonna to explain how to set up HashiCorp Vault with Spring Boot applications. So like, let's assume like uh, we need to set up some SQL storage uh, for our applications so that we can store the token related things, password, any kind of uh, sensitive data information so that it, we, it will be not easily accessed. Right, it will be not actually easily visible to any other any other one. It will be stored in a secure place. So as as a vault actually allow us to set up the secure access to those sensitive data with uh, it will actually reduce the risk of breaching the like security, right? So here actually we are gonna to learn like how we can set up the Hasikov vault with the Spring Boot application to store and retrieve application secrets and few other sensitive information which we are actually uh, stored in secure way. So what we are gonna do first actually what we are gonna do over here. So first actually we, are, we need to set up the Hasikov vault and uh, uh, we need to set up those vault, uh, Hasikov vault in locally so that it will locally from local we need to store those information and then we need to creating the secret on vault and then the next what we are going to do we need to create one spring boot applications uh, with having the like uh, configurations file which actually load the properties from the spring vault and uh, means it will uh, we are going to create one controller over there and from the controller when we will get the like uh, click on the some hit on the some app uh, controller then it will face some data from the vault so that we are going to do so first step is to like set up the hasik of vault so for uh, set up the hasik of vault what we are going to do we need to uh, like first download this vault application right in my local so for downloading this vault information so actually hasik of vault provider some there is a one url i will share this url in in the um, description sections so over here for Mac, Windows, Linux, so there are say, different types of OS actually. So based on the your OS, you can download those things. So for me, it's a Windows. So I downloaded from over here, and uh, it's like stored over here. So once this is done, then it will uh, like something like this one. Next, what we are gonna do? We need to run the CMD. And yes, so then. There are some actually command for storing means uh, uh, like uh, uh, start the vault server, put some data into the vault, face some data. So there are already available commands, few commands over there. So for starting the vault server, what we are going to do, we need to write vault, sorry, vault, then server, and then dev. So what it will do, it will actually start the server. Something like this. And what it is saying, it is a like a different is a key and this is the token. So we can also like uh, create a, a like a, means we can provide another like a, means customized token while we are running as a parameter that also we can do. So once this is start actually then from the local using this address we can check like uh, it will give us a vault let's try this one sorry let's try this previously yeah okay okay so now you can see okay so what we need to pass we need to pass the token over here so that token actually printed here right so we need to copy from here and we need to pass this particular token over here for login so once you log in over here then you will get this kind of thing so in the secret if you click so here we can create our own secret like this like uh, for example demo dot username and it may be it's a demo user okay next we can add demo dot password and it's a like password once you saved okay path so we need to also provide the path so let's say path can be demo demo vault vault demo 
vault demo yes so now it's like save the data right so from here we can add or modify data so now you can see the version is one if we are gonna add another things or maybe if you're gonna update this one for example we need to add another variable here demo dot uh, uh, db user okay and we can say like test user so now if you are gonna save from there so it will you can see version is 2 so it will increase the version also so the same thing we can do in is done so then in the next step you will get those things something like uh, here it's not mentioned but uh, it should uh, something uh, somewhere you will get those things uh, but uh, the command some applications so for that what uh, some dependencies is needed so what are those dependencies we actually like we need to add so for that uh, first of all as we are going to connecting with the vault so vault configurations actually is needed so for that we need to add the vault configurations next what we need to do as we are gonna use the controller so spring oab is application is required so so that kind of project how you are gonna create so from the spring initializer we need to choose what kind of dependencies like dependency management tool you need gradle or like maven java spring boot version okay so like uh, spring boot versions uh, this is the latest one and from over here we need to provide some kind of metadata like what is the group name artifact demo this and from the dependencies what do you need to select as i was mentioned earlier the lombok for the like uh, as we are going to don't need to write the getter setter so this one is spring web and uh, next is like uh, uh, the vault configuration so this one these are enough i guess so the, these are the things so once you click on the generate then it will generate the project for you so as i have already created and already imported this one uh, so that's why it's already created so if you are going over here so you can see so it will actually already like a starter wave cloud vault config dev tools so those are already like inserted over here right so that is the kind of the setup of this project next what we are gonna do we just need to write some properties file something like this like here the application name so what we are gonna provide like we need to provide the like path so like as the path is the vault demo so that actually we need to write as the KB is enabled authentication is token and that particular token what is actually it's generated over here that particular token we need to pass over here that uh, token we need to pass in the properties file so that it will be able to log in right else it will else it the login will be failed so that uh, token we need to pass over here and these are the like http this is the local host this is the url kind of thing so this is the done next what we are going to do we need to like write uh, one controller or before writing the controller we need to write one configuration so that it will read the like uh, data from the vault so maybe the name is vault configuration vault configurations and uh, we need to like uh, what we need to do over here we need to like uh, provide all the parameters which are actually defined uh, uh, means what actually available in the vault so we need to first annotate with configurations next uh, like uh, we need to write some uh, uh, getter setter method so what uh, getter should be like private username okay private string username next private string password private string db pass private string db user so let's uh, just verify db user db password and db username okay db user password and username db user password okay so password is not over there so next we need to like uh, as getter then setter and next what we need to do actually configurations properties here actually we need to 
parts the first one so that it will face those information which are like related to this one so that it will face the data as here we mentioned the first the demo so it will fetch related to the properties from over here okay next what we need to do we need to write one controller here write one class like uh, vault controller controller and we need to annotation as a rest controller next request mapping request mapping with uh, api slash api next we need to create one like getter uh, get mapping one getter method so that like void get data from vault here get mapping and get data from vault right next what you need to do you need to like auto air private auto air this vault configuration vault vault configuration so that we can pin those data over here now we need to seize out those information and dot get db user dot username password so these are done now here like db user comma username comma password okay so this is done now what we need to do we need to start this one let's start this application let's start it will not take more time it will start easily okay it's started now what you need to do we need to actually call this controller from any anything from postman or maybe from the browser so let's try from the like postman get value from get data from vault now if i hit this so here i will get 200 but it should also pin the value in the console yes so here actually you will get like db user okay here actually we need to some put some kind of separator or maybe okay let's do one thing we need to like uh, in the three lines so that it will be easy to understand db user next like username next like password okay so that it will be easily like understand okay so this is done it will uh, reloaded automatically as uh, uh, we have used the spring boot tools so that's why it's uh, restarted now let's try let's see so db user is a test demo user password right so uh, this information we have configured over here we can also like see those information like as a json you can this one right so in this way like we can easily we can access uh, we can set up the vault in local 
and also like we can easily read those information using the spring boot applications so for this this particular uh, code i will uh, put into the github and also like i'll share the link so that it will be easily accessible in case you guys are having any any things any any things uh, so put those things in comment so that i can reply those things and please like if you like this video please subscribe thank you